All right, so after the range test was complete, I found the battery was completely dead, of course, which was my goal. But even pushing the button here, you'll see it brings nothing up. It's below the low voltage cutoff, which means that uh, the charger might have a hard time recognizing the bikes even plugged in to start the charge. Um, so you can see even plugging the bike in uh, doesn't start the charge. So here's a trick to this, which I'll show you here in a second. Um, all right, so what I'm gonna do here is position the camera so you can see both the lights on the charger and the plug. It's a bit of a tricky sequence that you have to time just right to get this to, uh, to jump start past the low voltage cutout. So uh, watch carefully. So you wanna plug it in. Again, your battery is plugged into your bike at this point. All right, you're gonna see it flashing red and green. Unplug it and then plug back in again real quick. You're gonna see it flash red. Let it flash red until it goes solid red. When it goes solid red, unplug and plug back in once again. And, you should, and, and the bike should start charging. So blinking, 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 blinking. Okay, unplug, back in again. You can hear the charger kick up probably. See the fan spinning. Now you're gonna see it stop for a second and it's gonna kick right back on. There it is. Kick back on. And now, there you go. Now it is showing a charge. So away we go. So that's how you uh, get this charger past the low voltage cutout.